Hey guys, Maple Tell here. Welcome back to Rants and Draws, the series where I rant about Warrior Cats and, well, draw. Today we're talking about the recently released preview for the upcoming book, A Warrior's Choice. So spoiler alert for that. And we're drawing Daisy. Before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, fan art time. This lovely piece is by Sounds. Thank you so much for drawing this and for letting me show it off here. If you draw something you'd like me to see, feel free to tag me or DM me on any of the social media linked in the description. Anyways, on to the chapters. The chapters previewed are from Daisy Skin, the novella I'm most excited for in this collection. Chapter 1. It starts off by making me sad about Rose Petal's death all over again. Originally, I'd really hoped he'd be made deputy, but no. It's tragic to realize exactly how much Daisy has lost over the moons. And only have one surviving kit. But Flamepaw gets a brief mention, so yay for that. Also very happy to hear that Daisy is a Squirrel Flight supporter. ThunderClan could use more of that. And the chapter ends with Smokey, Daisy's old mate and Mouse Whisker's father, coming to visit ThunderClan for... some reason. In chapter 2, we find out pretty quick that Smokey's new mate, Coriander, needs help with kidding. It sounds perfect for Daisy, and a way for her to start feeling like she has purpose again. The scene where Smokey was subtly looking around for his and Daisy's kits, and the dread that Daisy feels when she realizes she's gonna have to tell them what happened, just broke my heart. I like that Mouse Whisker accompanies the group to the barn. Her lead to some interesting stuff with his birth father. Also, can we talk about the line where they run into a wind clan patrol? What brings your paws this way? I don't know why this greeting stuck out to me, I just thought it was really cute. For chapter 3, the Thunderclan Patrol arrives at the horse place. We get to see firsthand how badly Coriander's kidding is going. And it becomes increasingly obvious that Coriander isn't going to make it. Which is pretty depressing. And also makes me wonder if the main conflict of this book is going to be Daisy deciding between staying with Thunderclan or returning to the horse place and raising the kids with Smokey. The chapter in preview ends with the deaths of Coriander and one of her three newborns. Not terribly uplifting at all, and very abrupt. Anyways, I think I'll leave it there. Enjoy the rest of the drawing. Thanks for watching! I've been looking forward to this book for a while now, so I was very happy to read a preview. If you've read it, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear some thoughts. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next Thursday.